Recently, we highlighted the fact and showed proof that aimbox are in fact being used on console. But what if I told you that additionally, you could use wall hacks on your PlayStation or Xbox within Call of Duty? Would you believe me? Well, good thing for you and your propensity to doubt me. I've got the proof on a video that begins right now. What's up, what's good YouTube, hope all is well, and welcome back to the channel, I'm Hoppa, and if you missed the other day's video about how cheaters on console are using computer vision cheats, otherwise known as artificial intelligence cheats, to give themselves the ability to use aimbot software on consoles, then I strongly suggest you go watch that video and then come right back here. But on today's video, we've got even worse news. The same outfits that are selling methods for obtaining aimbot on console also have ESP wall hack features that allow the same users on console to have a form of ESP wall hacks on top of the aimbot. Now, the easiest way I can explain how both of these features work through computer vision is the game itself is played on a console. Whether that be a PlayStation or Xbox, the gameplay is captured through a capture card, the same kind that you would use to stream or record your gameplay, and then outputted to a remote play app that's on your computer. Then the actual computer vision technology or AI program being used here is tasked with detecting various objects and identifying them. And once it detects and identifies an object as an enemy player, it sends this information to a Python script, then outputs input data to a virtual controller that's being Bluetooth to your console. In layman's terms, it tells you where to aim, and then moves your crosshairs over that said location. But wait, Hoppa, didn't you say this video was about wall hacks on console? Yeah, it is, but you have to first understand how the technology is used to make an aimbot. Then it's going to be much easier to understand how these ESP features work. Much like the aimbots being developed under computer vision technology, these ESP features, well, they're yet to be finely tuned. Now, the way these AI ESP features work is that they're trained on large data sets. An example of the functionality of this would be a minimap ping that directly triggers a line to be drawn from the player's POV directly to the enemy player, who was either on the UAV ping or shooting an unsuppressed weapon. But where this starts to get scary is when someone puts in the time and effort to refine these measurements by training the AI program. But I can assure you, there are people who currently do use very refined versions versions of these cheats. All right, there we go. So there's the box. Oh, uh, and then just to show you, look, clearly this is PlayStation. So to access PlayStation though, you need a remote place. So this is, so this right here, this little box you see me moving. So like, this is a script. And then if I want this script, I take this script, I put it into slot two, and then I can load slot two onto the Titan two. The Titan two is pretty much a Cronus, just a little more advanced, if I'm being honest. You need, a just a basic i i know people who are running it off of 10 series cards your speed control pretty much this is your actually your vertical and horizontal aim speed so see auto aim up down speed auto aim left right speed okay so that's the other thing it's not just like aim out where it just locks on so i have mine pretty much set to like this like that was all yeah it's like medium range setup um, the more in-depth, like, the people who actually, like, know how to do this shit could definitely make it happen. Like, say, right now, I'm just aiming, and it's doing itself. Because then the other thing is, it's called, so right now, I was using auto-fire. So when you go into here, hang on, let me open up the menu. Uh, you go to your actions. So here, you can set where it auto-fires. Here's the wicked thing. And here is what it's, like, almost wall hack like Okay, so look, see on the minimap now? So apparent, apparently, they found a way to make it to where it, it measures like the distance and the sound, which is pretty much like that's an enemy right there. All those circles are, are players. It shows you like what? What's what it be like? Distance of the pings or something? Yeah, 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 exactly. So like, whenever something pops up on in here, it's supposed to show you in front of you, which simulates some sort of ESP wall hack, you know, for console. Uh, so you don't even. So you don't have to take your eyes off and then refocus. You could just straight up look at the the snap line to the enemy. Yep. Well, I'll see if that works now. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, so now it should Holy. be relative. Now how accurate it is though, yeah, hold on, let's see. Oh, but it's the no one here. Oh wait. There he is. So it's in, it seems like to be in a general area. 
careful when they shoot because it goes by the mini map. Mm -hmm. And well, I mean, I also didn't sit there and customize it though. So you could get a UAV and just follow the lines. Pretty much, yeah. And then again, if, if you get like, so I don't have a good graphics, uh, a good capture card right now because one, I'm not trying to like do this, do this. Yeah, yeah, uh, I wasn't trying to spend the money, but you know, again, it's like the better stuff you get, you know, the more it is. So like, I've literally watched people play on the screen you're looking at because they can get 200 plus FPS capture. You know, where right now, like, right now I'm playing at 20 FPS, so, like, you know, I can't really play like this. Yeah. You know, but I've seen people do it. And then you'll see on the map it lights up, and, yeah. So that's how that works. This is where the weights come in. So there's something about you're able to train them to make this all better. I don't know about any of that, per se. Mm -hmm. Um, In the options tab, let's see. Training it would probably involve... It, it, taking multiple uh, angles or multi-dimensional multi pictures of different skins and characters and things of that nature. Like I just oh, traded yeah. on data sets. That's, the, that's where the AI and machine learning part comes in, where this thing is going to get better. So I guess, yeah, as they're shooting with their pings, you know, it's... Let's see. Oh shit! It turned out I didn't turn before. That was crazy. Wait, so it, they just turned you to the right there. Yeah, it's turning. It, that that was new. It just turned by itself. Let's we'll see if it does that again. Yeah. I'll we'll see if it does that again. Oh. So pretty much, whenever a ping pops up, it seems to. But, okay, so see the distance is a little off. I think that's because hang on, let's let's actually look into that. Well, I mean just the fact that it's just the fact that you're able to do this is is insane. Yeah, that's a big move. And the other scary part is is EAL is universal to like Fortnite and stuff. So this isn't even like a Call of Duty worry. This is like pretty much every game. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I was under the assumption that aim lock was just for pretty much every game. Yes, it's because uh, it's a universal AI, so that's like, even if you to throw on, You're like, it works on, on a uh, different data set. Not, not even, I have actually, like, look, I'll switch right over, right over here. I won't even need to touch anything other than the minimap. I'm going to turn the minimap off. Like, I've even tested it in here, like, it picks up. This I think in cold completely undetectable. It's literally a program, an artificial intelligence program, looking at a picture and drawing another one. Yeah, Sincere. pretty much, pretty much. And you know, again, it's like I said, like I don't have, I don't have like the want to like try to fuck with or anything. I was just looking for somebody to be no, like, but I hey, had a feeling, I had a feeling this is they, a problem. Yeah, the, the foundation exists for somebody sitting here and spend a week or two and tune this shit to where it is pretty much overpowered and then go on to CMG. Now you may be asking yourself, but Hoppa, how, how is this beneficial to somebody trying to gain an unfair advantage? All you have to do is peek at the minimap every once in a while for pings and most good players are constantly doing that anyways. And yes, you'd be right. But let me ask you this. How many times have you flicked your eyes to the minimap after a kill only to refocus them on the enemy that's already shooting you? Now, what if I told you all you had to do is follow the lines to the next player and you'd never have to take your eyes off the middle of the screen or refocus them? Now you can start to see how this can become pretty overpowered stuff, right? And not to mention, it's only gonna get more advanced with each and every day because these programs are constantly learning and improving themselves with each and every frame of visual information that they receive. They're that much closer to replicating what's currently possible with PC cheats. And if you're sitting there wondering, 
just how effective that these things can be once they're finely tuned or how they can actually be tuned or trained more effectively or just have some random questions related to the topic you're gonna want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bells enabled so youtube does not let you miss this friday's live stream when myself and the person who's infiltrated these computer vision cheat providers are going to test it out live so any questions and concerns can be addressed right then and there but two things are already abundantly clear this tech is growing not only in the technological advancement every day but in the customer base of folks who are using these types of cheats and it's growing by leaps and bounds every single day in my opinion the best time to deal with the problem well that's before it starts to fester and with how fast ai tech is advancing it's not long before the excuse of I'm on console, so I'm definitely not cheating. Can't be used anymore. Enjoyed the video, learned something new. Make sure you like the video. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And also, if you want to be involved in Friday's live stream, which I strongly encourage, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bells on. And with that, you guys have made it through another video. And to be honest with you, it all kind of reminds me of the wise words from Alan J. Perlis, who once famously said, Fools ignore complexity. Pragmatists suffer it. Some can avoid it, while geniuses remove it. Catch you guys on the next one. Mahalo.